Welcome back to Washoe Nevada for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, a few jobs to be getting on with today. Um, the last episode went down like a rubber brick in a swimming pool. I, I just thought, you know what, I want to talk about seasons. I don't want to do a, just a seasons video because loads of people had already done seasons videos. I thought I'd talk about it while I was doing the Let's Play. I got annihilated for doing that. So be it. It's just, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right, I have got some jobs to do. Up on one of my new fields at the moment, I've got the John Deere with the horse Pronto putting in soybean. And I think the other field that I did, I'm going to put canola in. And what I'm going to do on this one is something completely different. I say completely different, people have already done it, obviously. Um, I'm going to be doing cattle, but I'm not going to spend tons and tons of my time and resources making grass, hay, uh, silage, all that sort of stuff. Or oh, silage I might do, um, but not the grass, hay and straw. I'm going to be buying that. So what I'm going to be doing is selling my cash crops to make money and doing contracts and doing fuel runs, water runs, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be buying in um, those resources I need to make in TMR for my cows. Because um, I've done all of that, I've done it, did a lot of that on, I mean I will do it again, but I've done it on some, some Let's Plays already. I thought I'd just tackle this one a little bit differently. What I'm going to do though, um, I'm going to whiz off, um, Bear and Papa mentioned this to me. I'm going to pick up a load of TMR from the store. Um, just as a kind of a tester. I've got a load there. They need shifting. I'm going to take it down to the livestock market because the livestock market can sell it on. Obviously they're selling livestock so the fact they can sell <coughs> feed and TMR and whatever else I need down there. My throat is on its way out. Just so I realised. How wonderful. We'll head back up to the other fields in a minute. I'm going to grab the semi. We're going to lease a log trailer. I'm going to get those logs picked up and get those out of the way. But I thought I would get this done first. Planting's going ahead. Field 9 still not ready to harvest yet. So I thought we'd give this a go. Now, admittedly, this is only a small trailer, 21,000 litres. That just cost me, was it $970 to fill that up? So we're going to take this down to the livestock market. He says. And we clear. All clear above and behind. Going to get off. Did remember that time. Oh, I can't wait to get my steering wheel sorted out. So, no videos over the weekend. Um, I had a few jobs to do, a fair bit of family time, you know, that kind of stuff. And I've said it before, sometimes, or say sometimes, normally I try and have one day off at the weekend, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, I don't put any videos up normally. Um, but because I had a bit, bit of stuff to do this weekend, um, I'm continuing with the man cave, that's the builds coming on right on that. So I'm trying to juggle everything. Where's the turning? Just here actually. I think we just offload it here. To water here as well, can't we? There we go. Total mix, total mix rational. There you go. So if you haven't thought about doing that, I just made well, just over twenty grand, twenty thousand seven hundred odds, twenty thousand eight hundred odd. Because um, it only cost me 970, so just under a grand to buy, and I made 21.7 selling it. And that's on a small trailer. You imagine doing that in a larger trailer? Wow. Okay, so that's that done. 
Uh, now, let's go back to the yard, we'll grab the semi, go and get the log trailer, go up and check and make sure the uh, field's going fine. I'm going to keep an eye out for contracts as well, keep the money flowing in, because we need the money flowing in. What I need to do is, yeah, signage really, just thinking, uh, we haven't got a bunker silo on the farm, have we? whether or not to make a load and then I can store the component parts in the forage bunker silo right cool what's that done Double Chase completed the task I think I made the field boundaries, that first field I made, too close to the boundary of my property. So I'm pretty sure I kept getting that message saying you don't own this land, so I don't think the cedar will have seeded right up to the uh, up to the edge, but it's, it's not too much of an issue. We'll do this in stages, I'll grab the semi, grab the log trailer, then we'll head up there. There's no point driving up there with this, just to drive back again. I'm going up there with the log trailer anyway, so... We'll sort out moving the John Deere then. I was supposed to do a water run to the livestock market as well, wasn't I? That's what I said at the end of the last episode, or towards the end of the last episode. But then the TMR idea was thrown at me, so I thought, ooh, ooh, let's have a go at that, shall we? Right, just going to get a log trailer, just lease it. Going to buy one. There's something else that Jim tipped me the wink to, so we're going to load up from the logs up that we cleared from the fields, and then somewhere else. Is there some more we can gather? So I'll leave the indicator on, I'm turning this right in. Right, so I'll see it here. Right now. So, we need a log trailer. I think I've only got the standard ones. I'm pretty sure, having had loads of them installed when I did Mercury, I think I uninstalled a load of them, so I've probably only got a standard. Uh, Flegel Timber Runner. I could go with one of those, couldn't I? The wood transporter. Although I've got some quite long ones, haven't I? Oh, such a dilemma. Let's go with that. Yeah, why not? Right, at least 1,218. Hopefully we'll make a little bit more than that on selling the logs, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Oh, it doesn't like that. It's better.
Okay, now the field that we're going to come to first looks a bit of a mess because <laughs> I was spraying and uh, liming at the same time and I think they both kind of passed each other so bits look it has all been fertilised and limed but yeah it's just it's a bit of a mess uh, where do I want to put this kind of at an angle actually not if I turn around the best and then Cool, right, so that's ready for collecting those. We'll go and grab the John Deere, bring that over, because that should have finished doing the field. You can just see it through the gap there. Just there. Uh, right, OK. Yeah, so I'd say a slightly different approach to the cows. I know people do it all different ways, and they have all different methods of, you know, producing all the things they need to produce. Seasons is going to make... Well, I mean, whoa. Just the concept is bonkers. that for a second. Did I say I was going to put the next one? Uh, soybean... Mm, just done canola. Yeah, let's do a soybean field one up. Just want to check down the bottom end because I'm pretty sure it hasn't done the strip across the bottom. That's not too much of a problem. What I might do is get one of the meadow rollers or something and just tidy that end up. Because I think I'm going to have issues possibly with harvesting as well. Oh no, it has gone right to the edge in some places. Okay, right. I'm just going back to uh, canola. Just put that strip in. It's only a few little tiny bits, isn't it? Better put it in. There we go. Makes life a bit easier as well, having the uh, direct drill not having to worry too much about having to cultivate on a ploughed field. So, uh, let's have a go with that as well. Nice. Right. It's not going to be a huge amount, but as soon as I can build up enough money to start buying the bigger fields, that's where uh, the big money's going to be. I say it's going to be interesting as well to see how this pans out with the fact I left trees um, around the edges. I don't know how much it's going to like this, but give it a go. Oops. Right, I'll hire a worker for this bit. I think I might have to do a border if I do a strip all the way around and then uh, go from there really. I still don't know why I haven't put fertiliser in this. I should have done, shouldn't I really? That would save me doing another job later. Not that it bothers me, but... I suppose it just would make more sense doing it in one pass rather than two, is it? Turn it on, drop it down. Hopefully I'll get a video done today with Celia G. She's feeling much better. She had the weekend to kind of get over her flu-like symptoms. So yeah, fingers crossed she'll be feeling a bit better. And we'll hopefully get a video done today. Again, you know, 
Just looking at the field thinking, oh, it's not that big, is it? When you think of some maps you start on, some fields you start with. I remember when I started on... Is it FS17? Uh, on Sosnovka, or might have even been on 15 when we got it as a DLC map. Um, you only started with one field next to the farm. So I suppose you get a bit spoiled, don't you, on certain maps now when you're starting with three, four, five fields. As far as I know, Welka, the update has has gone back in or is going back in today? I'm trying to remember what I read. Um, so they're hoping the update will go live on that. A few things have been tweaked and changed and sorted out. So fingers crossed on that. Right, what we'll do now then. So while this is doing this side of the field, we can crack on. Get those logs lifted. Go. Fantastic, right. First load, and then uh, hopefully not drop them all over the place. I think that really long one is going to be a bit of a problem. I we'll have to chop that into two. Yeah, potentially these are as well, aren't they? Right, we'll see how we get on. Top of that bar, aren't I? Just a little bit of a shelf. Cool. Yeah, that is a bit long, isn't it? Mm, right. Let's give it a shove from this end and then chop the other end off. I'm so used to doing this with a wheel, a uh, tally handler. Lock this end off here. Cool. Nice. Season's going well. All is good in the world. Hooray. A different method. Let's get that straight first of all. Hmm. Let's go like that. Try and grab the logs in. Come on. There we go. The quick one's not liking that so much. Right. Then drop that down to the floor. And scoot in that way. Can okay, I grab more of them like that or not? No, I don't so. Nope. Ah, it's always worth trying something different. It? But doesn't always work. Never mind. Yeah, I need something really up against it, though. Wow, hole three. Woohoo! Don't go mad, Mr. CP. Mm -hmm. 
that's getting close. I'm glad I went with the Pronto. I was going to go with the Vedastat A600 for the 6 meter. I'm, I'm glad I went for the 9 with the Pronto. Just makes more sense. Pain. Right, okay. Let's get this loaded up. I'll see you in a minute, hopefully when this is fully loaded. And then we'll go and find some other ones. Load those two. Take the whole load down to the sawmill. Why not? Why not indeed? It's not going to be a huge amount of money, but again, the logs are sitting here, they came off the field, just pointless leaving them, I might as well get a bit of money for them, I don't know. Come on, all four. There's just one little off cut. We're done. Nice. Okay, loaded. We're heading on down the hill. This field's done. So is the other one. They're both going to need another fertilise to give them maximum. I've moved the wheel loader down to where I'm going to next on the way past. Field 9 is ready to harvest. So we'll get the harvest from that as well in a minute. Might as well multitask, get a few jobs d done around the farm. Yep, it's all good. Actually, I'm going to stop there a second. Let's get that on it straight away. we can repurpose that one, get that reseeded and keep the process rolling over. Ooh. Dragging the ground. So I'm saving up for a bigger harvester now. That's my goal. I do want to start the cattle as well. But I want to get a bigger harvester that way if I do take on bigger contracts around the map, around the local area. Um, it won't take as long as it did using the case when I did field 3 right, that's working fantastic, right yeah, I just think that makes more sense I mean, I could, I guess, just take out a big old loan buy one straight away and then pay it off but it makes more sense to do it this way could do, well, I could do, I suppose because if I did water runs maybe I could use the water run payments to pay off the loan hmm Yeah, could do. Oh, uh, yeah, a few options available. Let's get this login situation sorted. I'm going to take a load. I might as well take a full load. Now, as far as, far, as, far, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, if I got this right with what Jim told me, which again, you know, generally speaking, I don't. This log pile here, I think 
you can collect, I think. Engine off. Let's jump into this. Beacons off. I mean, I could have driven it straight down here, didn't need to go on the back of the pickup, but if I'm going to take it back to the quarry, it will need to. So this is where we find out if I got the log pile right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's not straight. At all. I say straight. Central is the word I'm looking for. I want to be central on the pile. There we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? It gives you the hand then, doesn't it? Oh yes! Just grab what I can, but I'll lose a load of these on a bit. Okay, that's not so bad. Can I get all these on? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, should do. Should get them all on. The harvest is going to fill up quite quick, I think, isn't it? Someone asked me in the last, uh, the last episode why I wasted so much time doing all that hay for one sheep. Um, I did. I'm pretty sure I said in the video because I want to do cows. I was prepping. For um, for cows, so I was putting into storage for that very reason. But then, you know what it's like. People leave a comment, and I think, did I say it in the video, or did I not? Did I forget? I thought I'd said that's what I was doing. So you know, just to reiterate, just in case, it might be the person missed it. It might be I did forget to say it. So. Fantastic. Let's try that. Trees in the way. Should roll that way. Perfect. Let's play 
Close that light down. Close it up. Fantastic. Oh, actually, the forks don't belong to me, do they? You can't really take those back, they're leased. I'll sort it out. Sort it out. I think I should have gone another way, shouldn't I? Yep. I have done every other time, don't know why. Anyway, let's not worry about that now. Put that down, jump out, I'll load that up later. Let's get this over to the sawmill and get this sold. Right. Straps uh one two and three I always missed all those ones. Ah, oh, please don't tell me. You can put, pick them up and you can put them on there, but it's not gonna register them as being real in so much as will I get paid for them. That's odd that the straps haven't gone round them. Oh well we'll we'll see when we get there. Off to the sawmill. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we get for this then, shall we? Let's take straps off, see if those ones will sell. I don't know if they will, but all we can do is try. All we can do. Right, okay, let's jump up on the platform and... 33 grand? Whoa! That was worth doing. 33 grand. Nice. Right, okay. Um, well, I'm pleased with that. That's all going rather well, isn't it? Surprisingly. Someone... Oh, who was it? Uh, it was one of the... One of the crew... Asked... Um, where the monolith was. And I said it was... East of the sawmill. I think. We're at the sawmill here. That's north. East is that way. I think it's through the trees there. Where are we? There. I think that's it. I'm thinking of somewhere. I'm sure that's it. Which is the easiest way to check. Pretty sure it is. Yep, you can just see it through there, through the trees. The black slab. There you go, just up there. Cool, so yeah. Just east of the sawmill, pretty much. Right, this trailer can go back. It does mean doing a bit of logging on this map is going to be quite um, lucrative, I think. It's not a bad, uh, bad idea, but I think I'm rather than just going heavy on logging, which I did a load on Mercury, well, I think it's going to be if I clear land, if I need to clear them, I'll clear them. But there's no real kind of... I might do like one logging episode. I don't know. I'm just thinking. How am I going to do this? Right. That's that done. Cool. Oh, half throw stopped. I only just got a message a minute ago saying it was at 80%. So... Stop that there. We'll take the trailer back in a second. Let's unload it. 
I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to um, to finish growing. That's why I put the trailer away. But now I can just get straight on with that. Horse. I'm going to have to give the whole harvest to situations because I've only just bought. No, I haven't. I started off with that one, didn't I? I'm thinking of the pinky. I bought a new one, didn't I? Um, yeah, I wonder how much loan I could get from the bank. Actually, did I, did I already have a loan? Just suddenly thought, probably already got one, haven't I? Finances, loan. Oh no, it's loans on zero. Okay, well, hmm, it's an option. Well, oh, this is really, really low yield, isn't it? I thought I'd get more off this field. I suppose it's soybean, isn't it? I, I, I'm referring back to comments again. I'm just trying to think. Uh, that I, I made a comment in one of the episodes last one or the one before where I said about putting cash crops in the ground. Things like soybean and canola because the value is very, very high when you look in, this, in the shop screen. And I'm trying to think. Was it Bear and Papa again? It might have been Bear and Papa. Um, who messaged to say that somebody had done that as a, very, as a, as a kind of theory test type thing. And they're done now. Is it sugar cane or sugar beet or something like that? Because we know the yields on sugar beet and potatoes are very high because the price is very low. And it actually worked out on the field they were on, what they would have made in soybean, they made double, if not more, by doing potatoes at a lower price but a much higher yield, meant they actually made more money off that field. Now, the problem is with doing that... Um, I say the problem. It's good that you're getting more money, but I think sugar beet and potatoes are quite um, labour intensive. Whereas you can do a crop, you can do a harvest with your normal harvester, whack it out, get whatever you get for your soybean. But to do potatoes and sugar beet, you've got to have a specific pieces of machinery. A uh, specific? You have to have specific pieces of machinery, um, which are over and above a standard harvester. And because the yield's very high, it's a lot of offloading. So yeah, I suppose it's, you know, it's weighing up those options, isn't it? If you don't mind that extra workload, it's worth it for the result, I guess. Yeah, that kind of does make sense. Right, this is going to need to be... It shouldn't need to be... Actually, let's have a check. It shouldn't need to be ploughed again. Where are we? Field 9. Uh, no, that would just need fertilising. Doesn't need ploughing. Doesn't need lime. <coughs> so we get the fertiliser on that. Um, thinking, oh, I've got fertiliser spreaders and sprayers. I'm not going to bother. I thought I'll get a slurry tanker and do some slurry spreading on there. I could do, but I've already got machinery for doing spraying. That being said, it's up on the hill. Oh, I do need another tractor as well, don't I? Oh, blimey! It's all expense, isn't it? This farming lark. Right, well that's finishing off the harvest then. Let's take this truck back. Right, log trailer's gone back. Harvest is finished on nine. Let's get the uh, pipe out. I'm just about to see out the corner of there. Let's try not to hit the trailer. Perfect. Fantastic. Right, that's that done. Am I going to sell the soybeans straight away? What's soybeans selling for? One four, one four, one five. The price is dropping. Transport company is going for one five. That's not too bad. I might as well just sell it. Right, okay. Let's put that away. I'll get to a gap in the oh, can I get through there? Mm, yeah. Just about right. Cool.
Head down. What did I hit? I hit something. Well, that's not good. What did I hit? That side. <laughs> I know I've hit. I left the pipe out. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, head is down. That's sorted. And engine off. Right, cool. That's better. <laughs> I need to get that pipe repaired. Right, transport company, let's go. Um, oh, yeah, fertilising. Thinking whether or not 87 grand. Have I got enough to get a third tractor? Like one that I can use for just doing spraying, because this is quite a high horsepower, 261 on this case. I'm thinking of something that I can just run the sprayer and the fertiliser spreader and stuff off of. Which means at a point like this where I'm driving this off, I could be using that to do that and then bring down the John Deere with the Cedron. Three tractors is always, it just kind of works well. I mean, having more than that is absolutely fantastic, but um, three seems to be, well, it's the magic number, isn't it? Is it Telesol? I think it was Telesol, wasn't it? Three is definitely the magic number. Yes, it is. Do have these funny five minutes every now and again. Sometimes they last ten. Why does 26 miles an hour seem really slow? I suppose because it's a big kind of wide open map. You haven't got hedges and fences and trees whizzing past and stuff. It seems a lot faster when it's big open space. You you lose that sense of motion, don't you? Cool. So that. Is that all I got? 8,700 of that. Hmm. Right, we're back up to 100,000. Hmm. Oh, I tell you what, I could get. How much was it? 80 something grand, wasn't it? The, uh, the new Holland mod. The, uh, well, the new Holland Fiat Agri. The 110.90. If I get the 130.90, that's 130 horsepower. Oh no, did it, it didn't come with a front loader though, did uh, oh, what do you call it? Three point link on the front. Did it, was that an option? I'll check the options. Maybe we could get one of those. That will put us very low on our funds, but there's an option. Right, just went to the liquid of uh, the fertilizer storage and I only had 154 <laughs> litres <laughs> in storage. Never mind. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seed first and then fertilize afterwards. It will, it will use a little bit of fertilizer first. But when that runs out, that won't be a problem. So, right, soybean straight back in. First bit will be fertilized anyway with a little bit of fertilizer I've got in there. I need to buy some more. Maybe, like I say, do a run on something and then maybe a fuel run and then just get a big bulk load of fertiliser and stick it into storage that's probably not a bad idea um, right contracts I was going to have a look at those wasn't I what we got available sewing 34 grand yeah, a few kind of smaller ones harvesting oh, sugar beet that'll take forever which one's field 11 let's have a look first still sugar beet it's still going to take ages isn't it Where's field 11? How up there? Um, actually, it's not too bad, is it? Where's it being transported to? Root crops, which is just across the road, isn't it? Really? Do I take that one? It's going to be a lot of extra work, isn't it? What's that one? 19 grand. That's a normal harvest. Uh, wheat in field 12. Take it to Star Peak. Hmm. 
Hmm. If I use their equipment, it's only 1,000. I'm not going to take too much of a hit on it. Oh, you know what? Let's accept the contract. Transporting? What is that transporting? Transport items for transport company to a sawmill. It's probably logs or something, isn't it? Doesn't say what... Um, what it is. 22 grand though for I don't think I've ever seen a transport job worth that much. If I said that before I probably have oh, actually, I'm gonna get a fair way through this with the fertilizer that's in it. Maybe halfway across the field. That's alright. Okay, well what I'm gonna do leave that going. I'm gonna head over to the uh to the store then. Let's pick up this contract. Fantastic. Um, and potentially... Well, I'll get all the stuff over there, I think. We'll start on that. And then um, once we've got the payment for that contract, I think we might look at getting one of those tractors, you know. We'll get a third tractor. Uh, and then I'm still going to mull over the whole loan thing. Potentially. Potentially a loan and get a big harvester. Then, like I say, picking up some of those harvest contracts becomes a much easier proposition then. Why am I going all the way across here? Might as well cut, cut across country. Hop a few fences. So, uh, Mr. Silly P strikes again. <laughs> that harvesting contract now says failed at the top there. For the simple reason that I pressed on accept contract rather than borrow items. So I went over to collect the vehicles, which I hadn't actually asked for. Uh, so, I'm going to do this one. Uh, for a hit of 4,000, which means it will still be a 21 grand payout. Barley and Field 2, take the Star Peak Restaurant. I'm going to borrow items. Huh? No, that's already been... How can I collect on a zero? Thank you so much for reminding me. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, whoops. So, borrow items. My items, there we go, that's better. Now, I came back to do this because of that reason. But as you can see, I ran out of fertiliser just here. So I actually did about two thirds. Not too bad. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and get stuff now. Oh, map it. Now, I may have just done something a little bit dodgy. Um, the, the equipment that I've leased, that I'm borrowing, should I say. I mean, the hours on this aren't going to be great, are they? Let's have a look. Oh, it's actually it's not too bad. I thought it'd be far worse than that. Um, but So I've got the harvester uh, with its header, and I've got the truck and trailer. So I, th I thought, while I've got the trailer that I'm borrowing from someone else to do a contract for them, what if, if I fill this up with... TMR and take that to the livestock market well, it's not my trailer but at the end of the day why not while well, I've got it what it looks of traffic coming yeah, a, little bit. a little bit of traffic a little bit come on go 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 come on I do love, you don't often look very closely, but that cover looks plasticky, doesn't it? I mean, it really has the, the shine, the wrinkles, everything on it. It looks brilliant. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to get on with the contract on field two, which I think is that build there, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to start that in a second. But we have come to the end of this episode. It does mean we've now seeded three fields, now two new ones. We've harvested our previous field nine and reseeded that. We've got rid of the logs and a few spare ones. Uh, we've done a TMR run, we're about to do a second. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Made a bit of money and um, we should be looking on course for a new tractor in the next episode and then potentially a bank loan and get a bigger harvester. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, that's where we're heading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. 
Thanks for watching.